this is Lindsay Beck. I am going to tell you a little bit about two formative assessments. Um, one I have used and one I have not. Um, I teach fifth grade math and Kahoot has been something I've used a lot of times. I'm actually going to show you on the screen um, something I used it for this week. So we're talking right now about dividing with decimals and we're working our way into fractions. So this has been a really good tool. Um, an example is, uh, so you just, Kahoot's very user friendly. You can make it your own, you can make um, and share it with your students that are in it, or you can search the database. So what I've done here is search the database for multiplying and dividing with decimals. And so one of the questions that pops up is, find the question of four and five tenths and three. Once they do that, they would click on an answer. So it already gave the, the correct response here. But um, if you hit play, sorry, it's a little delayed. I wanted to kind of show you just in case you've never used it. I bet a lot of you have used it. Um, your students can play on their Chromebooks if you're one-to-one. -one. You can use a shared device. You can use it with iPads. You use it with iPods. Um, if you're upper grades, I don't know your school's policy on using their smartphones if they have one. Um, but I think that would be an option too because there's a class code that they can type in. Um, something I love about Kahoot is that it's user-friendly. The kids enjoy it. It's engaging. It's competitive. Um, but it's also private. Their name doesn't pop up. Um, you can set it to where it's, they won't know which name answers which question. So that's kind of nice for your apprehensive students that may not be the best at the topic of dividing decimals and they are scared for their friends to see that that's a struggle for them. So I, I love that about Kahoot. Um, Anyway, it's not letting me show you. Let's see. Here we go. Ready to join. So this is the ready to join screen. Um, anyway, I just really love it as a great assessment tool. It's got some fun little, so they would type in their game pen, and then this is a great way to use for formative assessment, not necessarily summative, but um, something that I read on... Um, the um, website was this, and it kind of stuck with me. Test scores should never be a surprise to us. And I think that using formative assessment and formative assessment tools um, definitely will eliminate the surprises of what you think might happen when they go to take summatives. And it's uh, just really good data to fuel your teaching. Um, another one is Edpuzzle, and I'm new to Edpuzzle, so I took some time to, to run through it and see um, how it works. So, it's a clip and edit. You can clip and edit videos, so let's say, I, here we go. So, this is a multiplying and dividing using decimals video, and I can clip it, add in questions as I want. So, if I were to use this in a mini lesson, if she posed the problem, I could say, how would we set this up in box method? as a question and then look on their papers to see how they would do that. So I think that's a really good tool um, to be able to see if they can follow yeah, using a video and being able to respond. Um, you can embed the questions, you can assign the assignments to the students, and you can see the data of how they did on your questions. One thing I didn't notice is if they could compare they can't compete with this, which is fine, um, and it's not a direct response. Like um, the the data points showed their names with the percentages, so it wasn't like an alias or um, you would have to do that on a private screen. This would be definitely something they could do individualized on their Chromebook or their one-to-one -one device or their um, iPad to watch the video. And if you wanted to use it as a mini lesson. Um, I think I might show the video first, allow them time to respond, and then um, 
maybe use conferencing notes or something like that to take uh, a formative assessment grade on this. Um, something I like is that you can use YouTube or Khan Academy, which is also, Khan Academy videos are also found in Study Island. So I think that makes it really user friendly, especially if you're using multiple productivity tools. Um, the differences I noticed were the competitiveness of Edpuzzle uh, doesn't align with Kahoot, um, but they offer two different types of formative assessment, I think. Um, one can be very individualized, the other can be as a cooperative group. So I think they're both great uses. I think they're both something that I could use in math. I use Kahoot often, but I think Edpuzzle is something I can add in um, for a huddle time and individualized instruction. I think it would make a world of difference there. I hope you enjoy checking these out and chat with you soon.